Simon Bird joins me now. All teenagers, teenagers. Well, you know. I do. Because you've done it and you've, you know, with the in-betweeners and stuff. But really, you've just captured that so, so, so well. Oh, good. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it's, it's, it's a film about this, uh, this boy, Daniel, who's a bit of a metal head. Yeah. Uh, just likes eating crisps and listening to Iron Maiden. Uh, and he thinks he's going to spend the summer holidays uh, in Florida with his dad. Right. But at the last minute, his dad cancels and he's forced to spend it with his uh, mum at home in England. And to him, his mum is just the most annoying person in the world. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it was, it was supposed to be a sort of, um, you know, it's... Uh, the aim was to try and capture the sort of the, yeah. the ennui and right, the tension bad. and the affection of um, sure. of spending long periods of time with your family. Yes, indeed, <laughs> <laughs> which, as we all know, can be a bit of a struggle sometimes. Yeah. I love the fact, though, you said they had to get equal screen time. Yeah. They had to, you had to make sure that the story came from both points of view exactly. to the point yeah. of making sure, you know, as director, that all the scenes... You know, nobody got more scenes than anyone yeah. else. You know? Well, it, it, it's based on a book. It's based mm. on a graphic novel by yeah. Geoff Winterhart. And that's what I loved about the book, is it was totally even-handed. Sure. Uh, and it's as much about uh, the growing pains of being a teenager as it is about... Um, but, yeah, it's a coming-of-age story for Sue, yeah. the mother, as well. No, very much so. That's the thing, because they do change throughout yeah. it. They really do. What's with your wife, Lisa? That's right. That's yep. right. Yeah. How did that? How did that work out? I mean, you've worked together before, I believe. We have. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know. so Lisa's a, a novelist, and she, right. this was her first uh, sort of go at screenwriting. Mm -hmm. So she adapted the the right. screenplay from the book, and uh, well. You know, I'm biased, obviously. I think she, <laughs> I think she did an all right job. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure she'd say the same, the same about you. But when you're director, the thing about, you know, we were talk, I was talking funny enough to Amelda Staunton about this, and she was saying actors are the last to know mm -hmm. whether a project's going ahead yeah. or, you know, and, and of course they, they work very hard to interpret it in their way. Yeah. But the thing about this is you as director have got total control over this story. Well, I think that's why... It's I, your story and you want to tell it. That's why I wanted to direct yeah, me, because I, I mean, course. I love acting, it's so much fun, mm. but, but Imelda's right, it can, be, <laughs> it can be really frustrating at times, because sure. you don't get much of a say over how the... No, the, and you're, you're kind of like a taxi for hire sometimes, exactly, yeah. you know, if you're in the right time, you're in the right place, right time and all that, it can work out. Totally, yeah. Yeah, but you need a lot of patience to be a you, director. You, you, you do, mm. um, and I, had, I think I had it, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I had a great time doing it. Mm. I, I definitely want to do more directing. Yes, yeah, because so I know you've done a short feature before this, haven't right, you? Yeah. But do you think? I mean, you're, the thing about it is, though, you look, you, you can, you can combine both. Mm -hmm. And sometimes being an actor can make you a better director. I think so. you know what it's like. I hope so, yeah. And yeah. I was just so lucky on this to work with such an amazing cast. We've got so, so many brilliant people in it. So Monica Dolan plays the mum, you know, BAFTA winning TV actress oh, that everyone she's knows and loves. W1A, she was amazing. She's, well, she's amazing. been in so many other things. Yeah. But we've got, an uh, you know, Rob Brydon's in the film and yeah. Tams and Greg, who plays my mum in Friday Night Dinner, so that was quite weird. Good. Bossing, <laughs> bossing about my mum. Did she, did she accept the bossing? It was all right. <laughs> uh, yeah, she did, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, was, she was brilliant. Sure. And uh, Alice Lowe and Tim Key. So it's an amazing cast yeah, of good. brilliant comic actors. Ah, oh, it's great. And people that you feel comfortable with, and it's so it's all exactly, of that. Yeah. And Friday Night Dinner's coming back. That's right, yeah. yeah uh, it is. I don't think they've given us an exact release date, but um, right. it's in March. Sometime, oh, that's good. Yeah. That, that's, that's great. And you were saying, you know, we, we were talking uh, today, in fact, we were talking about friends coming back. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody always asks you, how many times a day do you get asked about are they in between oh, coming back? Oh, sort Ooh, of 10 to 20. Yeah. So, but that just shows you how much it resonated exactly, with people yeah. and how much people loved it. And that, um, you know, th that's... Luke. What... Look at you as a child. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> You still look like that. that you still look like that. No, you don't look that different at all. But the thing about that is, never say never. I mean, mm -hmm. you look at Gavin and Stacey. Who knows? Exactly. If you yeah. guys feel that you've got something to I say. I mean, I will say never now. But, um, <laughs> okay. uh, but I, I think the reason that that show worked was because we were all, you know, yeah. the, the characters were kids, so they could say the terrible, awful things they said. Yes. Whereas if the characters were in their sort of mid to late 30s, it's sort of slightly different. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah. I get that completely. But you're going to be doing more stuff behind the camera, yeah. but still in front also. That's the Because I know you've got yeah. a new thing. Sandy Lands is coming out as yeah, well. Sandy yeah, Sandy Lands for UK TV comes yeah. out um, also in March, I think. Gosh. So, yeah, it's a busy month.